In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And may the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Well, today is the feast of one of the great popes, St. Leo the Great, died around the year 461. And in a very, very difficult time with the Vandals and the, the Germanic forces crushing Rome that was sort of dying as, a, as an empire, um, he stood up for what was the truth of the Gospels and yet the care of the people, trying to make peace and quite a leader. And so we very much want to pray for all the leaders of the church and shepherds of the church in this day. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O oh God, who never allow the gates of hell to prevail against your church, firmly founded on the apostolic rock, grant her that through the intercession of Pope St. Leo, she may stand firm in your truth, and know the protection of lasting peace. We pray it through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Hear, O kings, and understand. Learn, you magistrates of the earth's expanse. Hearken, you who are in power over the multitude and lord it over throngs of peoples. Because authority was given you by the Lord and sovereignty by the Most High, who shall probe your works and scrutinize your counsels. Because though you were ministers of his kingdom, you judged not rightly, you did not keep the law, nor walk according to the will of God. Terribly and swiftly shall he come against you, because judgment is stern for the exalted. For the lowly may be pardoned out of mercy, but the mighty shall be mightily put to test. For the Lord of all shows no partiality, nor does he fear greatness, because he himself made the great as well as the small, and he provides for all alike. But for those in power, a rigorous scrutiny impends. To you, therefore, O princes, are my words addressed, that you may learn wisdom, and that you may not sin. For those who keep the holy precepts hallowed shall be found holy, and those learned in them will have ready a response. Desire, therefore, my words, long for them, and you shall be instructed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rise up, O God, bring judgment to the earth. Rise up, up O God, God, bring judgment to the earth. earth. Defend the lowly and the fatherless. Render justice to the afflicted and the destitute. Rescue the lowly and the poor. From the hand of the wicked, deliver them. Rise, Rise up, up, O God, God bring, bring judgment to the earth. earth. I said, your gods, all of you children of the Most High, Yet like people you shall die and fall like any prince. 
Rise up, O God, bring judgment to the earth. Lord be with you. <clears throat> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. And as he was entering a village, ten lepers came to him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voice, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing that he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice. And he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? And then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Perhaps just a word about both of these readings. This first reading from the Book of Wisdom is, is written to important counselors, leaders, kings, politicians, heads of state, rich people, powerful people, just to tell them that if they don't obey the commandments and the will of God, they're in deep doo-doo, deep, deep, deep. And it's beautifully addressed to the princes, to the mighty. And all I want to say is today is the same. There are people who have so much power, so much money, so many ways to, to bend things, and they use it often for their own purposes and to crush the small and the poor and the little. And God will not let it go. In the end, the victory and the judgment is God's. For us, I think we have to pay attention too because it's, it's not everybody who has the power who is right. We have to be careful who we listen to. Most of all, we want to listen to God and His commandments. And then the Gospel. Everybody knows this story. The lepers who were cleansed and the one who came back to give thanks. And here I would just, just urge us, each day, try to give a little bit of time, maybe three, four minutes, one minute even. You know, at some point in the day, just to go over what has happened today in my life, in the life of the people around me? Where have I seen God's mercy, God's love, a mirror of his goodness? And can I give thanks for that? Just, just hold it in my heart for a second. Things that were beyond what I expected, things I maybe did very little to make happen. Or maybe I did. Maybe I was a part of this good thing. But do I take it as my own victory? Or do I give thanks to God? I really urge us all to do that. A, a, a kind of sense of thanks and gratitude each day. Right here in this little chapel for many years, uh, there was an AA meeting, and one of the guys who came off, an elderly gentleman, he's long since died, whenever he would speak about anything, any story, anything he had to say, he ended every intervention with, the attitude is gratitude no matter what it was. That was his final words. The attitude 
is gratitude. And it kept him going as a sober, healthy person. Not a bad saying for us. Could our attitude be gratitude? More often than not, but certainly be careful that it, it rarely happens. That would be terrible. The attitude is gratitude. So let us pray on this feast of St. Leo, the Pope. Let us pray for the Church. And we want to pray that Pope Francis and all the bishops listen to the voice of Christ, be faithful to their tasks as shepherds, try to build up the flock with humility and with courage. For the Church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And then let us pray for all of the victims of the great and the mighty and the rich, for the people who are very poor, who never seem to get a break, that somehow God's justice, God's goodness would come to them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are ill, all those still suffering from COVID around the world, those recuperating from surgeries or preparing for surgeries, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> and let us in this month of November, the Holy Souls, pray for all of our dearly departed, all those names inscribed in the Book of Life down in the chapel, Today up in Canada, our fathers are celebrating Mass for six of our confreres who died during the past year, year and a half of COVID. It's the memorial funeral for them. And we know them all, very special people, just that God's eternal love would embrace them. And the Mass today is offered for Sandy Kislevsky, the first anniversary of death. We just pray God's eternal, merciful love come to each one. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And then let us pray for the people, for the things that touch us the most this morning. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Oh God, even as we give you new needs and new prayers, we also give you thanks for your eternal and merciful love, for the way you care for us each day, for the way you have given us Jesus, your Son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, blessed be God, God forever. forever. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, blessed be God, God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. <clears throat> and so, sisters and brothers, let us pray that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. Through the offerings made here, O Lord, 
graciously shed light on your church so that your flock may everywhere prosper and that under your governance, the shepherds may become pleasing to your name. We ask it through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you and, with your spirit. and lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ the Lord. For as on the festival of St. Leo the Great, you bid your church rejoice so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For at the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, he gave it to his disciples. And he said, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. And in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Leonard, our Bishop, and all those who minister to your people. And remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And then, Lord, have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And so let 
let us pray with great confidence to the Father the words the Lord Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Peace, everyone. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. And behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and the blood of the Lord keep us all together unto everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Be pleased, O Lord, to govern the church you have nourished by this holy meal, so that firmly directed, she may enjoy ever greater freedom and persevere in integrity of faith. We ask it through Christ our Lord. Well, thank you, everybody. And just in case you're thinking of coming to Mass here on Sunday, we're going to have to go back to reservations. And if you go online, you'll find the possibility, or you can telephone, um, because we just can't have too many people in the chapel. So enjoy this beautiful day. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And our celebration is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks. Speak to God. God.